the whole object of the mixtape is, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's to motivate, to inspire, to inform, you know what I'm saying. Um, as a true artist, I try to I try to capture real life moments, you know, in situations and put them into a song, you know what I'm saying. So um, I put myself in a lot of different perspectives in, it, in this project or whatever. So my concept is crazy, you know what I'm saying, so be expecting some crazy shit. No. I started out with gangster raps and such and such But really wasn't doing the shit I was rapping Well not as much I took the time I took to find myself When I find myself, kill a game, I do the crime myself I sat back and threw myself at the brakes Like a goofy hoe without the sucking and fucking dope I started studying and analyzing old knives and old Jay-Z So when you played me, you can hear the resemblance Knew I had to recite these rhymes till I remembered it Getting in and out, don't have to wait until December hit Finna kill a game, cut it up and blender it, smack down. I be on my number one contender shit. I be verbalizing poetry, even though that I'm locally, I'm totally going globally, vocally, and hopefully I can change the world with my concepts. Automatic cook, cracker with my mind preps. I'm finna go and grab this black mask. Ain't gotta hear me, but these niggas gon' feel me. We finna do this shit globally, like everything's supposed to be. Same man, same heart, just a different brain. Finna go out and do what they say we can't. Bring change, bring change, bring change. Change to the game, go get it till they know your name. Go get it till they know your name. Bring change to the game, go take it till they know your name. Bringing out my black man. It was one, it's one track that stuck out in particular. You know what I'm saying? At the um, at the mixtape, and um, I, I came up with this track because I, I needed something to spark the spark the mixtape up because it was everything is more. Everything is really on some smooth, mellow type shit. You know what I'm saying? So I came up with this track called Something Bottle. It's a bad motherfucker. Check it out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Run. Ooh, number one. Number one. Watch that nigga next to you. Next to you. No matter where I'm at, no matter who I know, keep my distance from you niggas. For sure, why beat Puerto Rico? I like my chains real dark, it's just some bottle. Gotta have my bottles with them sparks, it's just some bottle. Nigga ask me where them drugs at, I don't know nothing about them. All these niggas acting like a motherfucking soap opera. I can fuck a bad bitch real quick, boy, with no problem. Don't hop up in these streets if you don't motherfucking know about them. I'm after being frank, so I like to count them, it's just some bottle. At the bar, buying whole drinks, it's just some bottle. Ask me where that weed at. You won't get no feedback, even if your legs know I'm gon' let my seed back, keep problems away from me Nigga, I don't need that, bitch say that pussy hungry I told her I can feed that, on it, on it, on it I keep these niggas at a distance, it's just something bottom I think these niggas low-key snitching, it's just something bottom Watch your back, he lickin' suspicious, it's just something bottom These niggas actin' real fishy, it's just something bottom I say I think it's something bottom with the name Mentally Ready for the mixtape. Um, when I first started off, my first, my first ever mixtape was called Passion for Fashion. And um, it was more, it was more on some fashionable shit, you know what I'm saying? Cause that's, you know, if you know me then, you know I'm into fashion and he heavy, you know what I'm saying? And um, but as the years went by, I started getting more focused, more focused on the, on the hip hop side. And it was, I needed something that was a serious title. And um, I had a song called Mentally Ready. And it was, it was one of my favorite songs I ever wrote, so I, I decided to name it Mentally Ready to, to, to give it a, a, um, you know, a real meaning, uh, a serious meaning behind the music side, and that's how I come up with it. Whatever you do, whatever, you do, whatever your push, whatever your, push, whatever your drive, whatever your, drive whatever, your motive whatever your motive is, just make sure you go hard, go hard on it. On I swear it. to God, all you God, niggas fought. I actually kept it real from the start Free all the little niggas on the yard I never take it light, I go hard All a nigga know is 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 go hard Game day is coming Game day is coming Game day is coming Niggas don't make it out, but no excuses Got in my mind, I'ma 
duty, so let's get prosecuted See, I can't struggle in this life that I dwell Rather go do the right thing than let them sit me in jail 21 years with my eyes open Very soft-spoken, got a lot of shit that I've been holding Trying to stay focused on the mission But I get distracted by bitches with ass We chase pussy, they chase cats, why not go and get it? The only people held me down was my family Now I'm putting on, I got everybody jamming me Inspiration to the youngest, motivation to the niggas that grew up having nothing. It's no discussion when the beef on the heat on deck. Quick to break a nigga neck if he disrespect. So I go hard for the hood, put on for every set. Don't make excuses for yourself, leave them lies where they at and go hard, nigga. Now tune in with YB Puerto Rico and DJ Young Sam on the official release date. Mentally ready is February 28th. Friday, February 28th, that's my birthday, matter of fact. Um, I'd like to give a shout out to my big bro J Ro, um, WDLP Rep, Steven Hearts, D Bando. Follow me on IG, YB underscore Puerto Rico. Shout out to my supporters, y'all keep on supporting me, we're gonna do this shit together. I'm out. See, they don't know, but I've been stuck up in the trap like a mouse in a maze. Trying to get out for four, five days. Finally got the bills paid. It's time to tap the stage. My mama called me and told me, Lil' Bro just asked for the J's. But damn, do I complain? Hell no, that's my life. Lil' Bro's ain't got no daddy, so I'm out here getting them right. Make my mama proud and get my granny out that old ass house. She say that nine hours of work feel like a long walk. And I can't have that.